My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. Welcome. Okay, so I made a video before this, which is like a title video of one of the things we're going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about that right now. And as the day goes on and I get back from work, I'll probably video blog again. All right, so first off, it's Monday, so good morning. Because it's 9.40 in the morning, in the a.m. for those who are in America. Specifically for those who are following me here in Virginia. In Charlottesville, specifically. All right, so... I watched The Walking Dead, and, you know, I've been going around telling people that I have toned the phrase of, don't make me negan your ass up in here. So that's mine. I've been saying it. Before anybody else says they've been saying it, it was me. I was saying it first from the, the first night that The Walking Dead came back. I have been threatening to negan people on Facebook and everything, especially little kids that you be some pissing me off. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and negan this person and get that out of the way. So... I was watching last night, and I was like, you know, and maybe it's the soldier in me, or maybe it's the Native American or the black in me that just doesn't believe in using a rational mind in the situation where the bad guy has given me his weapon and has turned his back on me. I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm about to be in charge. And I, I know he broke Rick when he killed Glenn and Abraham. And if y'all haven't seen that, I'm sorry, I just fucked that up for you. But, um, you know, or to quote Negan from last night, I just stuck my dick down your throat and you thanked me for it. Anyway, that was an awesome line, by the way, to Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I would love to be an actor and work with him. I'm still an actor. I'm just not a known actor Did you guys know about. And it's probably because I suck. But, you know, hey, I own that. Not all actors are made to make it. It's just something that we have to accept. Anyway, so I said to myself last night, you know, the second that this fucker would have gave me Lucille and he ain't got no knife on him, two things. One, Negan might be a bad motherfucker, but even the baddest of motherfuckers can die. We found that out with Abraham, because Abraham was a bad motherfucker. So, that right there, oh, it, it was done. It was done for me right there. Done. Season over. Done. Negan would have been beat the fuck to death. Now, the thing is, I never really read the comic books. So I don't know how Negan's going to come to an end, if Negan's going to come to an end, if Negan's going to get a reality check and decide, you know, we all live or die together. Now, I don't know. The wolves might be the ones to take Negan out because they're the only ones that are like that, um, the dark horse and the whole damn thing. You know, because if, if you know the saviors, they work for Negan. The wolves are in a league of their own, and you have the kingdom with uh, King Ezekiel, and then you have Alexandria with Rick and them, who have basically bitched out. So, you know, it, it might be the wolves that wind up being the, the ruler of the whole thing. And, you know, so I'm um, I'm going to let them have that, but it would have been me, straight up and down. Negan, the second you turn your black, I mean your eyes on the... Your back on me. Maybe it's because I'm of color. Your life would have been mine. Straight the fuck up. Your life would have been mine right there. You'd have been done. And then they would have been like, damn, he killed Negan. I say, like, Who, who's next? It's like, I killed y'all boss. Now I'm the boss. Unload my motherfucking truck. And then y'all get the fuck out of here and don't come back. I say, like, because one by one, yo. Know, I just started doing some guerrilla warfare tests. And maybe it's the soldier in me, but Negan ass would have been gone. The first chance he came there, he would have been gone. I would have sniped him straight from the gate, and we would just had to, to, to pick and choose our losers on that one. And, you know, as a fighter, I always tell people to pick your battles wisely. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. That one right there, I went on to cut Negan's throat right there in front of everybody. I said, like, you might kill us all, but your boss is going with us when we go. And I said, that's all I did that shit right there. And I said, I'd rather die on my fucking back with a bullet in my head than live on my knees. So, Alexandria just would have had to been wiped out with survivor's guilt. Would have just had to be with everybody. And whatever happened would have just had to happen. But I would have had to take Negan ass out. But, you know, I don't write the show. And I didn't read the comic. So, you know, that's that and the other half. Now, on my other favorite zombie show, which is really not a whole lot of comparison to The Walking Dead. However... I don't give a damn what you guys say. If you haven't been watching um, Z Nation, then you um, 
clearly been missing out on a lot. I love Z Nation. I'm a little mad at how this episode kind of got twisted with El Scorpio and um, Javier finally losing his life and going to be with his family with Roberta mercying him and things like that. And if I spoiled that for you, I'm sorry. But I will say this. Z Nation totally fucking rocks. Now, apparently, I missed something, or I must have missed the episode, but they have apparently jumped six years in, which is kind of fucked up. I was like, well, when, when the fuck did that happen? But apparently, on um, season three, they're six years in, so it's like, are they going to have like more flashback episodes to let us know how they got to this point, how they lived this six years, or unless it was like already six years in when the apocalypse began, or it's really confusing, so, you know, but... Yeah, I'm a Z Nation fan. You guys don't have to like it, but you gotta accept it. And um, it might not be as popular as The Walking Dead, but puppies and kittens, baby. I much would probably have a better chance of surviving in Z Nation than I probably would in The Walking Dead because, I, like I said, I just committed suicide ki- thinking about killing Negan like right as soon as he gave me Lucille. That motherfucker would have never seen another damn day. Now, at least in The Walking Dead... You know, they got, like, all these fractions. Well, Z Nation, there's, there's, some, there's some fractions in there, but there's no unity, really. And everybody's pretty just trying to survive. And they have these, like, Zs that run. And they have these damn Zs that explode. And they got, like, all kinds of mutated Zs. They even had Zs having sex. They had a bear zombie. Yeah, Walking Dead ain't had none of that. But, you know, Z Nation, you know, they even had a Z tornado. A, really, a zombie tornado. That shit was fucking awesome. So Z Nation really thinks outside the box. Now, this is not a comparison video by far, but I will say this. I think I would have a better chance surviving in Z Nation than The Walking Dead because I'm just too damn gutsy for Negan. And as a former soldier of the United States military, Negan ass would have died the second that he blinked. And we'd have been on a rescue mission for Daryl. We'd have strengthened up the wall. We would have done something. I'd change zombies to the wall so when they come in, they'd have to let us know by killing zombies. No. But I'd done something. Yeah, straight up and down. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Havoc number two. This is seven minutes and 30 seconds of your life that you can't get back. Be seeing you.